it's uh, 6 30 and we're getting out early this morning and try to make it to the North Carolina line this was a real good anchorage for us protected on all sides and I recommend it now the location of the anchorage is marker 29 just before you go into Pine Island cut Okay, you right behind you, man. Uh, no, sir, not for quite a ways. Okay, we got a festival down here. It's going to take me just a few minutes, so I'll get you off to you. Thank you, Breach Master. You have a good day. Captain, uh, kind of just radioed, the, the, radioed the, the uh, railroad bridge master here at Sakosti for an opening. We got a 65 foot span and uh, the bridge is uh, 11 feet so we can't can't get under that. We're 16 feet. area so we start picking up condos and homes and that sort of thing it's amazing how the scenery changes Let's go along we're right in here in this curve Myrtle Beach Super Bridge is just long straight stretches, which is kind of a relief. We had quite a challenge yesterday. Now, as we're tooling along here, we're actually uh, going along Highway 17, but you don't see it except in in spots, you know. But there's no place really to pull off in this in this uh, waterway. In fact, it'd be dangerous to do so because it still does have barge traffic going through here and uh, for a section called the rock pile of it you don't have enough room with the barge to, uh, to pass so uh, we gave a call to see if there were any active barges through this section you know, this is different trolley going over the river here barefoot bridge north myrtle beach we had 32 foot clearance coming through. That's a Vortac. We used to use those for flying. They send out a radio beam or a beam every 360 degrees and you'd fly those beams. And we got 10 more miles to go to North Carolina. Pass a little river inlet. How many miles away from uh, North Carolina? Is that? Half mile. About a half mile from North Carolina. Well, we managed to reel North Carolina in, and up ahead we got another super bridge. First one for North Carolina. Now, in the bigger picture, again, I outlined everything on the atlases before we left, so I so I, it made it understandable for me. We're going to try to. To get as far as we can today, um, we'd like to get in a position somewhere up in here where tomorrow we could tackle the Noose River and Pamlico Sound and uh, then the next day come up and tackle Albemarle Sound and get over here to the Dismal Swamp where we can kind of hide out where this weather coming in and even travel maybe while the weather's uh, raging. So 
that's the plan of attack for the next couple of days. We're really going to try to run the boat and get somewhere, even if we have to run at night a little bit. Statute mile 330 of the waterway, which is a shallow inlet. And there's the inlet. And both sides of the waterway, just lined with uh, homes, one on a little strip of beach, and the other one on the inland side. And as you can see, still have these extreme tides up through here. Right, right near Lockwood's Folly Inlet. Obviously, we've had a major malfunction right here. Right over here, just uh, north of the bridge. And up ahead, see some white sand up there. That's probably the inlet coming up. Well, now we're coming up on Lockwood's Folly Inlet. Another look at the Atlantic. Wind's picking up some, so keep on going. They call for a slow pass. Houston, Texas. And we're looking at the Cape Fear, Cape Fear River. Coming on around. We'll be hooking a, a port in here. We'll be hanging a port. Give a footing here. Current strong going through. Naturally, okay. temporary buoys, and uh, probably by the time you get here, all that's going to change because uh, you know, things shoal in, shoal out. So you just have to do what what's appropriate at the time. Hey, there's a lot of current here. Now at one, we're going to start hooking toward the. Port. And we're picking up uh, such a current up here, we're doing 10.4 mile an hour. I thought I better get that on film. Watch out for this point, so the car ferries, a couple of those. They were lined up going up the river. Alright, a green 177, you're going to turn off the river and back into the cut. 177's got the uh, square and coastal sign for green and uh, the yellow mark. Now we're back to uh, red on your left, green on your right, on your northbound to New York. All right, when you come in from the Cape Fear River into the cut, you know, the, back into the intercoastal, you've got uh, strong current, rocks on the sides there, you know, the usual suspects. And northbound, you've got the uh, ubiquitous super bridge. And this is Carolina Inlet. Over on your, your left as you're looking is uh, Masonboro Island. Get down through here, you have no problem seeing the Atlantic if you have a flybridge. I mean, this is just sightseeing at its best. Turn in. There you go. Oh, man. Hang on. So what we've come today, we really run today close to right at 90 miles, which is a record. And uh, we've come in right in here in this little cove right here and drop the hook. And right here, this is Masonboro Inlet, which we can see from here. It's not, uh, it's not, it's 
high tide, so it looks like it's all connected. But this is not Masonboro Inlet itself right there. You go up the intercoastal a little bit and hang a hang a right, hang a starboard, and uh, you go straight out to cut. 12 hours, 91 mile day from Masonboro Inlet. Good night.